All right, my friend. So today's story again goes along with our muffin. It is if you give a moose a muffin. So let's look at our book. If you give a moose a muffin, he's going to want some jam to go with it. So you bring out your mom's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another, and another, and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts his sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for needles and thread. He'll start sewing the button. We'll remind him he wants a puppet. That's his grandmother used to make. He'll make that. So he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When you're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paint. Then he'll ask you to help make a scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. So you'll bring him the sheets from your bed. When he sees the seats, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, BOO! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over all the paint. So he'll use the seat to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it. He'll probably want to hang the sheet out to dry. He'll go outside to put, the clothes, put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bush. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. He'll want a muffin to go with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the story.